Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Ill Communication. Today uh, is a very special day. I'm here in Austin with my good friend Nathan, who I met a few years ago. He is a self-proclaimed tea traveler, and uh, he was nice enough to mail me some tea a few years back when I was living in Toronto. And one thing led to another, and uh, he ended up setting up a Taiwanese tour for me. So uh, I went to Taiwan with uh, Nunik, and we went all over the place, and he, he showed us many, many awesome things. And uh, today, he's making tea, and we're listening to some traditional Taiwanese music that we're getting ready to remix. So, uh, Nathan, thanks so much for, for having us here, man. Yeah, it's man. really great to be back in Austin. Yeah. And, uh, you know, this tea is, is delicious. It's great to, uh, great to, to be drinking tea with you again, my friend. Yeah, it's, man. It's been ages. So, um, what can you, uh, like for someone who's just, just learning about tea drinking, you know, what would, uh, what would you say to, to someone who is like interested in tea, but maybe doesn't know where to start? Right. Yeah, that's <clears throat> the challenge is, is that tea is this like massive world and, uh, you know, we've kind of like compartmentalized it and like, you know, packaged it down to think of it as this product that we put on the shelf. And then, um, you know, once people start to realize that it's this bigger thing, I think it can be overwhelming to realize it's a whole other world that you have to have tools and all these things for. And, and I've, I think really the main thing is, is to just start drinking tea, like wherever you're at, it's like a journey, just like anything else. So with tea, I mean, if it's, I think ditching the bag and going for loose leaf and just starting there and just going where the tea leaves lead you, I think that's the, the right place to stay. Cool. Yeah. Cool. So um, uh, this tea that we're drinking today is really, really tasty. It's uh, steeping away in here. I don't know if you can see it, but it's, uh, it's an oolong. And uh, man, it is really, really something. That's uh, it's a great way to start your day. I'm, I'm excited to, to drink tea and yeah. make remixes. I should probably pour, pour this one out. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. I was gonna say too. This, uh, as Dylan knows, this tea is from a homie, another homie, who's not here with us right now, but he is in spirit. Sohan Fan. This tea came from the Hi, Sohan. the West China Tea Company, and uh, I've been working with Sohan because he he knows the farmers and he's getting it straight from the farm, and uh, that's part of what we're doing is trying to connect people to the farmers and. Uh, let them know about Western consumers because there's this whole other world here of people that are like getting into tea. And uh, we don't know, people, consumers here don't know much about the tea, but farmers also don't really know anything about the people here drinking their tea, so. What's the word for tea drunk? We're getting tea. Chadzwe, yeah. Chadzwe, okay. We're starting to get our, uh, it's, it literally translates to uh, tea drunk, but I think it, it's, more, it's better, as, uh, better translated as tea high. Here, let's uh, put on some more of these awesome recordings. Yeah, so the sounds that Dylan's putting on came from a Taiwanese producer friend, um, Alex Pung. Um, when I, I kind of connected with him through tea in Taiwan, and I told him that I had this concept of wanting to, to take these traditional tracks and kind of change them up and, and let producers here kind of adapt them for what we might think of as this like modern tea house or, or perhaps an urban tea house. And, um, so they're, they're traditional sounds straight from the source in China, sourced like 20, 30 years ago. Um, and they've just been kind of archived and we're just now breaking them out and, and seeing what happens with them. Yeah, I'm really, uh, I'm really excited to dig in. The recordings are amazing. Like not only is the actual quality of the recordings really surprising, but the instruments are just so, like you just listen to them and it just puts you into a, into a place right away, you know? Uh, I'm really digging it. So, um, can you tell us a little bit about how, like, I noticed you, you know, there's no tea bags here, and we have this like pot of tea here, but it's not really a teapot. Right. And then we have this kettle here. Can you tell us a bit about the kind of preparation techniques that you're using to make this delicious tea for us today? Yeah. So this is a gaiwan, which literally just means um, gai is a cover and wan is a bowl. So it's kind of the original teapot, like the predecessor to all things, and it's, it's kind of the most basic way and straightforward kind of gangster way to brew tea. Um, and then we have teapots like this, these little Yixing teapots. And most people say, wow, that's so cute, but in, in Asia it's really kind of a, a, like an old man thing to do a lot of times, uh, like old men sit around drinking coffee here. Um, <clears throat> so. Yeah, and it's also sitting on a plate here, and this, this little electric kettle is kind of supposed to 
model or mimic a ceramic kettle that sits on a fire. So ideally you would be sitting somewhere where you could actually have a ceramic kettle on a fire, but um, we have modern devices to kind of get us there instead. So it sits on this electric base. And um, yeah, that's kind of the, the basic starting point. And this, this whole process is called Gong Fu, which is the same as Kung Fu, uh, which basically means a skill. So when you're drinking this and you're, and you're learning and kind of getting your technique down, that's, that's your Gong Fu. Sweet. Yeah. So, um, and how, uh, how long would you say you, you, you steep the different teas and at what temperatures? Is there any, like, are there any, any pitfalls that we should be avoiding? Yeah, so it's really about kind of getting to know the array of teas and with that kind of concept of Gong Fu is, is connecting with the teas and your utensils. And so if it's lighter, like green tea, it's going to want de more delicate water. So it's like less than boiling. And whereas um, this is an oolong, um, a really a pretty dark oolong, so you want to hit it with like water that's just been boiled. And we have other types of tea like pu'er, which are aged, and that flavor is like really locked down in there deep because they age it for 5, 10, 15, 20 years. And with pu'er tea, you really want to hit it with really hot water. Um, and different teas have different sensitivities and, and proclivities. So like with, um, with green tea, you don't want to steep it very long or it'll get bitter. Yeah. So it's like really sensitive, whereas like this kind of hearty dark oolong, um, you can steep it for longer and the same as like with a pu'er. Um, and then there's black teas, which I didn't mention. There's, and that's the other thing is that, that tea is, is the world kind of like wine. Like we think of it as like, in that we think of it as being a packaged product. We think of it as there's being just different kinds. I think like electronic music could kind of be the same. But people say, if it's electronic, does that mean it's like techno music? And there's like this whole other world. It's, you can use electronic devices to produce things. It doesn't mean it has any particular sound at all. And I think tea's the same way. It's like, it's, it's a plant. But, um, but the flavor that comes from it is all the processing. So it can, yeah. can have tons of different flavors and the way that you brew it can be to totally different. Cool. Yeah, I'm gonna pour us another cup. Yeah, that sounds great. Man, delicious. This is, this is the way to start the day. It really is. I'm so, I'm so charged to, to go make music. Thanks so much yeah. for, for everything. Here's, here's to you and uh, to being back together again. Cheers. Sure, man. If we were drinking alcohol and you could say with tea, they say gambe, which means kind of bottoms up or dry cup. Gambe. Thanks for watching, everyone. Yeah. Lots of love. Later, y'all. Peace.